Jack Clarity, thank you for tuning in at Kirkberg TV. Right about now, you live on here with us. What's going on? Ah, uh, you know, I'm going to up here in the studio the early morning, Bryson, right now, there in the studio the hard work, and see them with the same time. You know the thing go down? Yes, I. And more rhymes. Yes, I. Please introduce yourself to the viewers and subscribers, then. Who is Jack Clarity and what Jack Clarity is about? Well, you don't know all of the listeners, them and the viewers, them right now. Jack Clarity is a real talented artist, and you don't know I and I are putting the work, you know. I and I is a reggae and dancehall artist because nowadays you got to be very suburbs in the musical thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I and I do dancehall music, and I, I and I do reggae music, you know. I'm out of my touch on some pop beat and some disco beat and them things because music not really carry borders, you know. Yes. Once you're a musician. Yes, yes. So where 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 Russ Clarity originate from? Well, I and I originate from Sentan, you know. I and I is a Sentan youth, Marcus Giave Parish, you know. You know what I mean? And I and I grew up from Moby, Kingston, Linstead, you know. Yeah, I and I traditional road them the way I and I grew in Jamaica from Brownstone to Montego Bay, because my father come from Montego Bay and to Kingston to Linstead, you know. I and I grounds them there, you know. So big up all Linstead people, big up all Brownstone people, big up all Montegonians, they don't know a Jack Clarity there, and big up all Kingstonians, see? Yes, I. Uh, explain some of your biggest projects them that you work on and you're happy to be a part of these projects well one of the biggest work when i get involved in a, is a combination with anthony b sizzle and capleton which is a historical track that has never been produced on the earth before uh, anthony b produced that track you know what i mean so i and i is a part of anthony b team that is bonfire team you know, because I toured the world with Anthony B, Germany, France, Italy, Belgium, Spain, the whole of them places I and I perform, you know, far as to Denmark, Christiana, Sweden, uh, uh, Amsterdam, England, so many places, you know, even down in the Caribbean, Trinidad, Suriname, whole heap of grungs, man, you know. So, the biggest thing where I say I is a part of a project was the combination with Anthony B. Sisla and Capitan. I, I, I and I intro that song, you know. When I hear, wheel it, so I wheel it, Anthony B. Sisla and Capitan, step cross, come sail it. That song in here, we are the best, best of the best. Yes, I, you know. Yes, but I. the biggest thing that, you know. Yes, I. So, explain. I and I also a combination with turbulence, you know. Yes. Um, the yeah, fight against Rasta, no way. Yeah, I and I write the hook for that song there, and turbulence hear it and say, like it, and I say, okay, then I can get the opportunity to do the combination with you. No, and him say, yes. And I guess so that happened, you know. Yes. And then we have a next combination now with Mikey General, but again, son. You know, T. Gomaya produced that from over in Switzerland. He is a Montegonian too, you know. But yeah. he live in a Switzerland. Produced combination with me and Mikey General, you know. Yes. So we are putting in works, you know. Yes. What's your views on the system? Do you think that it's just because of less opportunity in Jamaica while why the crime and violence is so strong? Well, the why crime and violence is so strong in Jamaica is because of poverty, you know. Poverty is on a very high hole in Jamaica and it's all because of the minimum wage that Jamaican people get, you know what I mean? Because Jamaican people work 7,000 Jamaican dollars for a week. Now, if you add up that in US, that's, that's less than 50 US a week a Jamaican people are working for. So you must have crime and violence in a country like that. You know what I mean? So that, that that's a very big hole. There's no money in the people in pocket. You know what I mean? And as them get them paycheck, it, uh, it already done. But before them get it, it done. You know what I mean? Because 7,000 Jamaican dollars can't buy nothing in Jamaica, my friend. If you're sick, and go to the doctor, your, your, your doctor bill would be more than $7,000. So your, 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 your common health problem 
and for you to save yourself to go to the hospital and then to give a full prescription, you can't afford it because it's more than seven thousand dollars. Yes. So, so poverty is the biggest, the biggest of the biggest problem in Jamaica. Why? We have so much crime, you understand? And if you check the, the, the scope of the thing of even the election that run the other day in Jamaica, right? It's only a few thousand people go vote in Jamaica. And we have 3.5 million people in Jamaica. And you just, I don't think you have a hundred thousand go out to vote in Jamaica. So 99% of Jamaican are not with politicians because the little that they pay us in Jamaica is like slave. You're working on a slave plantation. Yes. yes. So, Kirk, that is the biggest damage in Jamaica why there is so much violence and crime in Jamaica. Poverty. And not until the politicians them kill poverty from Jamaica, we will never get rid of crime in Jamaica. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. yes views and subscribers. Poverty in Jamaica. His opinion, the poverty need to be killed, need to be moved out. You know what I mean? Something need to change with the minimum wage. You know what I mean? The people that are working so hard is like they're working for nothing. You know what I mean? Just to get some food. That's it. You know what I mean? The bills them is not covered. So. Yeah, because if you check, if you check the duration, right? You you get seven thousand dollars for pay in Jamaica. Still, your light bill come to fourteen thousand for the month. Your water rate come to fourteen thousand for the month. So check that. How oh, can oh, oh I have to ask the question every day. How oh, Jamaican people do this? How oh, we live? How oh, we survive? You know what I mean? So crime, it, it, the poverty develop crime in Jamaica very high. Because everybody has to be hustling to make 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 ends meet. When it should not be so. People should do their nine to five work and their nine to five work that they do can help them to buy a house, can help them to buy a car, can help them to do everything in comfort of their life. But Jamaican people are not that. They are still dealing Jamaican people as slaves. We are still on the slave plantation here in Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So check the real shock work. There are 3.5 million people living in Jamaica and they does not get 100,000 out of 3.5 people to go to a general election to vote. So check that. Check that. Because the people know they, they, they those who wanna want you to, to get money. So they they, they they doesn't care to come and vote for you. The Prime Minister win election with just seven thousand people vote for him. <laughs> Out of three point five million people. Seven thousand people go out and vote for him. For the prime minister. You just and said that's how he could win the election in Jamaica for what? seven thousand people out of three point five million people. Yes. You think it was a good idea after this whole pandemic thing? You know what I mean? This whole pandemic thing happened and middle in this whole pandemic um election called and people go out and vote i was wondering what's going on it's a system that, system then babylonian can do all they want but if the people try that then they have been charged i have to fight against the system because the system is not for the people yes so I, I am a revolutionary against the system because the system is not for people. And I, as a born Jamaican, live in Jamaica, grow in Jamaica, I know the system. I in Jamaica so many years and I have never go to an election to put my ink, my finger in no ink to vote for no politician. Yes. Because politicians just do nothing good for Jamaican people. So why should I vote for them? Yes. In Jamaica, I can't believe I see so many artists voice dub for politicians and politicians lock off dancehall fight against reggae music fight against dancehall music i can't believe no in 2020 jamaican artists are voicing dub for politicians to win election that's crazy we are very easy to control materialistic just a handful of 
them, brother. That's what I'm telling. It's just a handful, brother. It's just a handful. Yeah, I mean it like that. I mean it like that. Of course, I will not say every. I cannot say every Jamaicans. I would never do that. You know, that would be disrespectful. I'm just saying. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, just a handful. Just a handful. You know what I mean? Ninety-nine percent of Jamaicans know that um their minimum wage could be better, right? Yes. Because if you go. If you leave Jamaica and go to any Caribbean island, even Haiti, where they say suffocation is that bad, it's not all the part of Haiti as suffocation like that. You have the good part of Haiti. So if you go to the good part of Haiti, your paycheck is still better than living in Jamaica? Yes. <laughs> you yes. understand? Yes. Jamaican people are not in politics because, all right, look what go on in this election. A lot of people who go out and vote is because them sell them vote. So they get a 10 grand to go and vote for a politician. Is this for real? Because I see a video where you have some people actually going to a car and collecting money. Yeah, this is for real. Them sell real. them vote. So the it's... It's that bad right now that a politician have to really group up the people them and pay them just so they go and vote. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So now, you see Jamaica need more than an election. Jamaica need a redemption, brother. Because the whole system in Jamaica need to change. Hmm. The whole system in Jamaica need to change, brother. Jamaica need a re resurrection like Jesus Christ. Yeah, because they, 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 what, what, what Jamaica politicians do, they crucify Jamaica people. They crucify them. Mm. You understand? And then the politician and the prime minister and the MP, they get so much money for the month. So why did they get so much money for the month? And Jamaican people who do all the dirty work in Jamaica get $7,000 for them pay. That's cruelty to Jamaica people. And the handful of people, them, they, they can't do better because they're hungry. So they have to send them vote. Yes. Because they're broke, they don't have no money. Because the one time, they have to vote one ten grand and it's when they go vote for a politician. But when they work nine to five, the politician only pay them 7,000 Jamaican. Yes. So it's, it's, very, it's very wicked to Jamaican people. That's why I have to be a revolutionary artist in Jamaica. Fight against the system. Every day I chant against the system. Right now I have a new song name. It's a shame. It's a shame and disgrace to Jamaican race. Mm. Because them give politicians them vote and their minimum wage now raise. <laughs> I have some crazy song to drop right now, man. I have some crazy song that I'm doing in the studio right now. Crazy work. So... And these are, these are motivation songs for Jamaican people. Yes. And for people out there in the world to know how Jamaican people are living and how they are surviving half at just $7,000 for a week for pay. Hmm. Slave money. So I call it slave money. We are still on the slave plantation in Jamaica. Slavery has not abolished in Jamaica, brother. Mixing, 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 mixing. mixing. Yeah. So, there was time in the system where the system was against the reggae and the dancehall music. Even da the dancehall, let me even take on the dancehall, even more harder. You know what I mean? Like tying it down no, and stuff right, like that. So, uh, uh, one, moment. Girl, one, 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 one moment. One moment. One moment. So, yeah. Yeah. you mentioned about dog plate. See? And mm -hmm. you can't believe that so much artists do that and all these things but mostly younger artists I didn't see no Morgan heritage i did not see no you understand what i'm saying yeah um so the one them that do it is the one them that have more influence and the younger set of gen generation yeah and that's not good because all right so so when when the politics mix in that right now they get they use that to control the younger people them more so what they are doing now going to move on in the newer generation 
Yeah, they wish that would happen, but that will never happen, brother, because not even when those artists do dub for for politician, the prime minister still gets 7,000 votes, so he, 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 he didn't move a margin, because 99% of Jamaican are still saying the same thing. Why are these artists mixing up with politicians? And the, the 99 person who can even go to a party and party good. You are in about nice ovation. You are in about this. Party of lack of 12 police just come lock on your party for nothing at all. You know what I mean? So how can you be a, one of the activists of, of dance hall and then you have a vice dog plate for who are fighting against dance hall? That doesn't make sense. But the party is one of the num the party is one of the number one resources that where the money come in that help 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 the people more. Through yeah, because listen to this. One time, a couple years ago in Jamaica, me have a shop on the front of the road. Me could have just call a sound and keep a party a weekend time. So me have a thing named street dance. So not even that are not freedom in Jamaica no more. So Jamaican people them are no more free to do what they wanna do. So that boy, that bring down our next part of poverty again because the little man we have a little shop and could have keep a little street dancing can't do it again. So, you, so how can you be an artist and you know that and you still have a vice politician? That's crazy. Okay. One question. So, so do you think most of these artists care about the people? No, they don't care about the people, they care about the hype. So these modern day artists, they, what they is, care about the hype. They, what, they, they does not care about... What, about, what is... About ex, explain, explain the hype. The hype is now that general election is coming and the, the politicians say they want some dub from them and them jump and vice it because them song are going to play around Jamaica to the motorcade. But uh -huh. it does not do no good for them. It only do good for the politicians who are fighting against reggae music and dancehall music. So there's no way I could be an artist and I jump up and vice a dog play for a politician boy or a politician girl when none of them now nah, help Jamaican people. You understand? Them yes. to fix the road, them the bad road, them in a Jamaica and help Jamaica people them and raise the paycheck for Jamaica people them. Because them have GPS and them have water commission and all of these places charging you how much thousand dollars double and triple times your pay. Is that true? Is that true? And them now devalue poverty in Jamaica for Jamaican people. So I and I couldn't vote for no politician guy. Now I'm a politician girl. I'm not vote for no politician boy. I'm a politician girl, brother. Yes, viewers and subscribers, Ross Clarity, the voice of Ross Clarity, explain what's going on in the communities. Ross Clarity, big up yourself and respect. Thank you for taking time out to tune in on Kirkberg TV to put your voice out there. Let it be heard. Seen, respect. Yes. Yeah, man, give thanks today for the interview, Kirkwork TV. Seeing a good work there, yeah, yeah, because knowledge like these are, are, are need to reach the world. The world needs to know what's going on in Jamaica. You understand? Yes. I know the, 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 the leverage where, where poverty have on Jamaican people. You understand? Yes. And it's all because of dirty politicians, them. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, sir. So give thanks to the interview and big up the whole Kirkwork team, team, TV team. Big up yourself. I don't know Jack Clarity for the check in scene. Yes, sir. More sent to the item scene. Yes, sir. Blessings. Rastafari. Give thanks again, my elder. Yes. Blessed love. Yep.